Welcome to Great Hymns of the Faith. My name is John Frazier. I'm your host. And you know what, folks? Today, this Sunday, is the first Sunday in Advent. Isn't that something? Where has the time gone? I don't know. But it's great. It's a wonderful season of the year. We're going to begin our program today with a hymn by none other than Charles Wesley, and you know his dates are 1707 to 1788, and he composed the words to this hymn because he was so enthused over his conversion. I mean, God's love was wonderful. It was inspiring. It lifted him up, and Wesley wrote the hymn, Amazing Love, or sometimes it's referred to as as can it be. I hope you enjoy it. That was And Can It Be, or otherwise known as Amazing Love. Now, let's turn to an Advent hymn I'm certain that all of you are familiar with. It's called O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. The words are by an unknown author, probably from around the 12th century. And it was translated from Latin to English by John M. Neal in the year 1851. Perhaps it was based on these verses from Holy Scripture. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. That's Isaiah 7, 14. Enjoy the hymn.
Jean de Brebeuf, 1593 to 1649. He was born in Normandy, France. He became a Jesuit priest in the year 1617. And in 1625, he founded a mission on the Georgian Bay, Lake Huron, the southeastern edge of Lake Michigan. Despite fierce opposition from some native tribes, he continued to preach and was responsible for bringing the gospel to the native population in that area. The Jesuits composed a hymn called the Huron Carol.
Listen to this verse from Luke chapter 2, and it's verse 14. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. The words of the hymn, Angels from the Realms of Glory, were by Lewis P. Hughes. The year was 1912. Matthew chapter 2 verse 10 we read, When they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. William C. Dix in the year 1856 wrote this hymn on the day of the Epiphany while sick in bed. The hymn is called, As with Gladness, Men of Old.
Here now is George Beverly Shea singing a selection I know that many of you will enjoy. is empty no more traffic in the streets all the builders tools are silent no more time to harvest wheat busy housewives cease their labors in the courtroom no debate work on earth is all suspended as the king comes through the gate Happy faces line the hallways Those whose lives have been redeemed Broken homes that he has mended Those from prison he has freed Little children and the aged Hand in hand stand all aglow who were crippled, broken, ruined, now dressed in garments white as snow. I can hear the chariots rumble, I can see the marching throng, the flurry of God's trumpets spell the end. Heaven's grandstands all in place. Heaven's choir is now assembled. Start to sing amazing grace. Prophets in the Old Testament spoke of the Messiah, the one who was to come, the promised one, the one who would deliver the people from their sin. Many people misinterpreted the purpose of the coming of the Messiah. Some thought that he was going to lead their army against Rome. After all, Rome was their great enemy. But no, God's word said, your greatest enemy is your sin, and the wages of sin is death. So I am sending the Messiah to you. I'm sending the promised one to you. He will be your king, and he will save you from 
your sins. Now, folks, we started out our program with a hymn by Charles Wesley. Here's yet another hymn by Wesley. This one is called Rejoice, the Lord is King. Psalm 24, verse 9, we read these words. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be them lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. That's Psalm 24, verse 9. Our next hymn comes from the Scottish Psalter of 1650, where the Church of Scotland took some of the great psalms and set them to music. And for a period of time, the church was only allowed to sing the psalms. Well, here is a great psalm called, Ye Gates Lift Up Your Heads on High.
It was great having you with us today, folks, and I trust the good Lord willing you'll be able to join us again next week for yet more of Great Hymns of the Faith. Until then, God bless.